is Top Accolade African News Updates. I am Soibifa Jackrich. Zahara has died. The country's cultural minister announced she had been in hospital reportedly with liver complications and the government had been assisting the family for some time. Sports, Arts and Culture Minister Zizi Kodwa said that the songstress won fame in 2011 with her album Loliwe Loved Across Africa. In 2019, Zahara opened up her battle with alcohol addiction. Last month, the family confirmed she had been admitted to hospital and called on South Africans to keep the musician in their prayers. She passed away on Monday night in a Johannesburg hospital at the age of 36, state run SABC News website reports. While her family is yet to release an official statement, fans have been grieving and sharing fond memories on social media. Zahara, who released five albums, won dozens of awards, both local and international. In 2020, she was named in the BBC's 100 Women list. Gishlain Conan says it is an enormous pride for his country to host the 2023 African Cup of Nations and that visitors will receive the warmest of welcomes next month. The tournament kicks off on 13th January with the opening game and the final on 11th February, taking place in the country's financial hub Abidjan Conan, who was born in Abidjan, was speaking a few days after the Ivorian government said it will be using some of its 20,000 volunteers to help fill stadiums during Nations Cup matches. Tournaments, which was moved June-July of this year to January 2024 to avoid Ivory Coast raining season, will be staged in five different cities. Abidjan is the only city that will use two stadiums, with the newly built Alassane Altara Olympic Stadium hosting the opening match and final, while Boek, San Pedro, Cahogo, and the capital, Yamasukro, will also host games. The stadiums in the latter three cities all have a capacity of 20,000 with Abidjan Felix Hopwet Boingeni Stadium and Boake Arena able to accommodate 40,000 and the Alaslane Altara 60,000. Yet, the 23 teams trying to ensure the trophy leaves Ivory Coast, including defending champions Senegal, may find more support from the locals than they expected. In the past, poor attendance have been a feature of many any Nations Cup matches which do not feature the host country. Richie Sunak is racing to shore up support for his Rwanda bill among right-wing MPs. Ahead of a crucial vote later, the PM has met potential rebels over breakfast in number 10 as he tries to convince them to back the legislation. The bill seeks to revive the government's plan to send some asylum seekers to the East African country, but some on the right of the party says a tougher law is needed to ensure the scheme works. Meanwhile, Tory MPs from the more liberal end of the party say they will support it in its current form but have warned against any changes further down the line arguing they could breach international law it means mr sunak is facing the biggest challenge to his authority from his mps humiliation on the mp over one of his key policies the government's legislation has been drawn up to revive the rwanda scheme after the supreme court ruled it unlawful last month over fears it could lead to human rights breaches the legislation seeks to declare in UK law that Rwanda is a safe country to send asylum seekers to and stop fight being grounded for legal reasons. However, some right-wing Tory MPs are concerned it does not go far enough to prevent further legal challenges derailing deportations. Nigeria's Victor Osimen has been crowned the 2023 African Footballer of the Year at the Confederation of African Football CAF Awards ceremony in Marrakesh. The Napoli player beats Egypt Mohamed Salah and Morocco's Akraf Hakimi to the prestigious award, the first time a Nigerian has picked up the title since Wonkwa Kano in 1999. Nigeria enjoyed double success with Asisat Oshuala retaining the women's award, the sixth time the 
Barcelonian forward has won the accolade. The winners are voted for by a panel consisting of CAF's technical committee plus African media professionals, head coaches and captains. Club involved in the group stages of CAF's continental competition also have a say. Napoli striker Osiman, 24, was tipped to pick up the CAF award for the first time in his career after a stellar 2022-2023 season. He scored 26 times in 32 appearances, including the decisive goal that sealed the Scudetto in May and won Napoli their first zero a title in 33 years. The former Wolfsburg and Lille striker was also named the Italian Footballers Association Player of the Year earlier this month after an outstanding season. Lagos-born Osimen scored five goals in four African Cup of Nations AFCON qualified matches as his country reached next year's finals. He also became the first Nigerian to finish in the top 10 of the Ballon d'Or votes with an 8th place to finish and was made a member of the Federal Republic in his homeland. That is the size of Top Accolade African News updates. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen.